It is a warm and beautiful day today. I am in a sundress feeling very preggers right now, if I'm honest. I can't show you guys the bump right now in the car, but I will definitely give you a bump date. I actually think I need to loosen this a little bit. Woo. She's growing, my friends. I'm 26 weeks today. Welcome back to the channel. Bringing you guys along with me on a little vlog style video. This morning, my app told me that she was the size of a butternut squash, which seems really big. I just went and got nursery hangers, so like little tiny cute little hangers. I can be pretty particular about hangers. I don't like a bunch of different ones. I like all the same hangers. So when we moved to this house, I said this in a vlog a while back, but I wanted all of our hangers to match. So they're all wood. They all match for the adult ones. And they have the same ones, but little ones for kids. So it just like satisfies the itch that I have of wanting them all to match. So I'm very happy about that. I am debating going to the grocery as I'm like with my lollipop. These hit the spot for me. This is the second time I've had one in pregnancy. But you know these like the classic lollipops, chupa chups, chupa chups. The strawberries and cream one, this is the best thing ever. So I just saw it again and got it at checkout. And now I'm sitting here for a moment debating if I'm going to go buy a turkey. I know that that sounds random. Well, it doesn't sound that random because it's around Thanksgiving time. But we're having a friend's giving, not this weekend coming, but the weekend after. And they have whole frozen turkeys at this one grocery store that I like in town. And I just called and she said she has some. I'm a little bit nervous that the closer we get to Thanksgiving, because there are Americans that live here and stuff, that those are going to sell out. I am back at home from being in town. I did not get a turkey. The final decision was to wait until next week. They had a ton. I talked to the lady. But what I did get was two, four, six oranges. Hi, Lanka. <laughs> and I have some twine here. And I am going to attempt a DIY garland where I dehydrate the orange slices. I've seen this DIY done before and I just think it's so pretty. And one of the main reasons why I want to do this is because New Zealand Christmas is in the summertime and I feel like dehydrated oranges on a garland. Oranges feels like summer, but it also feels festive for the holidays. I just feel like it's a perfect thing to have for a New Zealand Christmas. I think a viewer sent me that idea a while back and I just never forgot. And I've been seeing it everywhere lately and I think it will be really pretty for Friendsgiving too. So it will be dual use over the holidays. I also picked up some twinkle lights because I want to do a tree. My mom and Alex's family are all getting together for Christmas in New Zealand. We're not spending it at the homestead the weekend of Christmas. We're actually going someplace. And because we're going to be staying somewhere, I want to bring little Christmas decor over there so we can just make it feel a little bit, a little bit more festive. I'm already feeling very festive with these little twinkle lights. I also got the baby clothes hangers, a good amount of them because I bought a like mini clothes rack to go in the nursery. We have tons of space in the nursery and there's a closet in there. It's a small closet. So I thought, just some of her like nicer clothes that I want to almost display. Kind of like how a lot of people have clothing racks in their bedrooms and they like put their wardrobes out, like all their favorite pieces. Almost as like decor in a way. I'm looking at it as practical and decor sort of. So I'm just going to kind of hang up all my favorite clothes of hers on this little clothing rack that I got. So I needed hangers for it. And I'm gonna do that project when we get back from being out of town. So I'm not gonna bring you guys along with me to Wellington. That's where we're going for the next couple of days 
because it's just gonna be kind of chaos and a lot going on. And I just brought you guys to Auckland and it was fun, but I feel like vlogging at home right now because there's a lot of stuff that I wanna do around here and I wanna bring you guys along with me. So I'm going to see you in a couple of days. It'll just be seconds for you, but it'll be a few days for me and we will get into all this stuff. Hello, hello, it is a couple days later. It's the start of the week. Yesterday we went to the hardware store and got some stuff for a nursery DIY that we're working on that I will show you guys in this vlog. And then yesterday morning we went to our first ever birthing class. We have four more classes after that over the next month. And it was really great. Like we learned so much. It's all so fascinating. I could have listened to that lady talk for like the whole day. <laughs> it was a three hour class. So this was like a one-off class. It was called Spinning Babies. They have it in the US. I think it started in the US. They have it in the UK and kind of all over the world. But it's really cool because the one Spinning Babies class they have in New Zealand is like right by us, which is awesome because Anywhere else in New Zealand, you have to like travel quite a bit if you wanted to take a spinning babies class. And it's really all about how to encourage baby to be in the right position for birth. And I know that anything can happen. Babies can be breached. They can be in suboptimal positions. And there are things that you can try to do to encourage throughout your pregnancy the baby to be in the right position and to just kind of balance out your hips and your uterus there's like these kind of exercises you can do on a daily basis to just kind of prepare yourself for birth and labor so it was really cool to take that class because i'm 27 weeks tomorrow and so just getting that information has been really useful because i can start doing it quite early in my pregnancy to just try to encourage the best that I can for me to give the birth that I want. But again, I always know that it can go <laughs> all sorts of different directions. Hello, we've just come home from the hardware store. And as you can see, there's a project going on behind me. We're doing a little board and batten wall on part of the wall because there's a closet door there. So we're starting after the closet door and we're gonna have I think six board and battens total going across, or no, it'll be eight, including the ones on the side. And then we loved the color that we used in the cottage so much that we're going to be using that in here as well. It's kind of that like sage green color. I have more things I wanna show you guys around the nursery, but we're gonna take a quick break. The sponsor of today's video is BetterHelp. And if you watch my channel regularly, you know that I talk about them quite often because BetterHelp is something that I use in my life consistently, and I have used them consistently for the last couple of years. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and to give you unbiased helpful advice. Starting therapy can be difficult for a lot of people. Sometimes what you're looking for specifically won't be available in your area. Also, some people find the face-to-face -face of therapy a little bit uncomfortable. With BetterHelp, you can do your therapy sessions over the phone, you can do it with a video chat, or you can just do it via messaging, whatever feels most comfortable to you. If you're looking for something specific that you want help with, BetterHelp has over 30,000 therapists in their network, which is a wide range of expertise that might not be available in your area. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs. And in most cases, you get matched with a therapist within 48 hours or less. And then you'll be able to schedule your therapy sessions at a time that is most convenient for you. One of my personal favorite features about BetterHelp is that you can switch your therapist at any time for no additional cost. So if the first therapist you get matched with doesn't feel like the right fit, you can switch without checking your insurance or having to see if someone's in your network. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp, which is a lot of people. And it makes me happy to hear that people are focusing on their mental health because I think we put so much time and attention on our physical and I feel like our mental health deserves that same care. If you think you would benefit from therapy, you can go to the link I'm leaving for you on the screen here. It is betterhelp.com slash rad. I also put the link in my description box for you. By clicking that link, you are helping out my channel, but you are also getting 10% off of your first 
first month of therapy. So that's BetterHelp dot com slash rad. I've just moved this out of the nursery so that I can show it to you guys because Alex is in there finishing up the board and batten. So we'll let him have his space to do his construction. And I am just going to start hanging up some of her cute little pieces here. I have these little clothing hangers and I got these separators. They've got newborn, zero to three months, three to six months, six to nine months, nine to 12, 12 to 18, and 18 to 24. I'm hoping I like this in the nursery. I'm going to give it a try, set it up, see if it fits in the space, see if it takes up too much practical space that I want. The room is big though, so I think there's definitely room for it. Look how freaking cute these are. I just can't even imagine that a baby's gonna be in these. The funny thing about all this is that I will be washing all of these before baby arrives, but I wanted to get them, I just wanted them to not be in a pile anymore. next day. First and foremost, happy 27 weeks to me today, to us. Today is 27 weeks. My app said that she is the size of a bundle of bananas. So here's a little bump date. You can take a look. We are one week away from the third trimester, which is crazy. It is flying by right now. I Heard that the third trimester it'll slow down, which I'm actually looking forward to because this is going really fast. But this is the board of that wall. It's finished and I love it. I love the color of the green. It's like a neutral green. It's called Bud. It's the same color that we used for the feature wall in the cottage. So I just wanted to go with the same green because I loved it. I also put her little clothing rack that you guys saw me putting together yesterday in here with the little label separations, which is really helpful. Again, I still need to wash this stuff, but instead of it being in a pile on the floor right now, it's better that it's just up here so I can get an idea of how this actually even looks in the space. I don't know if this is where it will be, but it actually works well because when you open the door, it opens pretty much completely. You don't really need to open the door wider than this. So that might actually work there because there's really nothing else I would put right there. For the board and batten wall, I don't know if the crib's gonna go in the middle or if it's going to go in the corner of the wall. So I'm just gonna wait until I hang up some hangers because I want some wood, light wood style hangers so I can hang like a diaper bag or a baby coat or I don't know, just whatever, a blanket. There is a part of me that wants to do wallpaper up top here and along the side of the door because that's like a full wall there. It's not that much space, but it's kind of a whole other project that takes a lot of time and effort. But I could see myself finding like a cute little nursery style woodland creature <laughs> wallpaper, like with little bunnies and squirrels and you know, just things like that. That would be really cute above that. We've never done wallpaper though. We've never done a board and batten though. So that doesn't like take it off the table, but it's a lot of work. And then when you don't want the wallpaper anymore, there's more work involved with that. She'd have it for years probably, but I don't know. It's sort of a bigger thing on list. There is the non-stick, like the peel off wallpaper that I could look into, which would be easier to take off later on down the road. And it's not that much space, so it would be easier to do. And maybe it could be a project that I would enjoy or potentially hate. <laughs> Who really knows? But I think it would look really cute. So I'm kind of debating that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think I should put a wallpaper up top 
over the border pattern that has a little bit of this like sage green color in it so that you know it's just like one full and then the wallpaper will go a little bit down the door because there's a little bit more like you can see that there's the wall and it goes up a little bit higher because these are kind of high ceilings and then it would go down the closet door let me know what you think for now i'm going to go into the dining room and i'm going to do that dehydrated orange <laughs> diy that i told you guys about last week because i've been wanting to do it i'm gonna preheat that oven and get it done okay so we've got oranges two four five here and then I have this twine. I'm going to cut the oranges on this cutting board. And then I have this baking sheet where I'm going to put the oranges on. I think I need another baking sheet or maybe three, but I'm going to preheat the oven in just a moment. I'm going to do like 90 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees or like 98 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. The math, sometimes I can, yeah, it's most of the time I'm, ooh, this knife is not gonna work. I need a sharper knife. I might actually get my bread knife. I feel like my bread knife cuts tomatoes and citrus and stuff better than any of the knives that we have. All right, I'm gonna slice them pretty thin, but not too thin. This might even be, this is probably too thick, so I'm gonna try my next one a little bit better. Probably like that. Now, I'm gonna slice them first, and then I'm going to go in with a towel to release as much of the juice as I can. The key is cutting it straight down so that you don't have like a thick piece. Okay, see, that's perfect. So maybe get a spare orange that you can do a trial on and fail at and then eat. The DIY I'm reading says to use paper towels to get the excess juice out, but I'm just using a hand towel like this because it probably even has better absor absorption. To be quite honest, we don't really use paper towels anymore. We use hand towels for everything, napkins, to clean. We haven't bought paper towels in years. Here are our oranges. This just brings me immense joy. My eyeballs are very happy looking at this sliced citrus. Now these are gonna go in the oven for four hours. And then you eat all the mess ups. Now, while those orange slices are in the oven for the next four hours, I am going to get some editing done. I have a work project that needs to be finished by end of day today. So I decided to do that before I work on that so they could dehydrate while I'm working on this project that what time is it now? I think it's already like 3.30 or 4. So I need to get on that. I have some dried oranges here. It has been a success. I said it would be four hours in the oven, but it was more than that for sure. I had it on a really low setting for, I don't even know how many hours. I just kept going back and checking on it. So just keep it in the oven at a low setting until you're satisfied with it and use a dehydrator if you have one of those. <laughs> 